welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. Today I am here with a get ready with me, and if you're familiar with these types of videos, I don't teach you how to do anything. We just basically hang out and talk. Today we are going to use newish products. They're not like new first impressions to me. They're just new purchases that I have been loving. And so I can't stop, stop using them. And so I wanted to share them with you guys. If you guys find anything in this content useful, funny, entertaining, beneficial, I made you think about something, I made you look inwards, or I don't know, I inspired you in some ways, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss a single video that I intend, fully intend on posting twice a week. Look, listen, I make plans and God laughs at me. I am one of his most entertaining comedic subjects, but we're getting used to it and we're just going to ebb and flow. Today's video is actually really near and dear to my heart because it's something that I have been pondering. It's something that I've been thinking about. It's something that I have been working on, but need to do better at. You know, this is one of those moments where I hear my son's, <laughs> my son's voice in my head where he goes, mom, just do better. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what do you mean? Wait, don't talk to me like that. I'm your mom. Mom, just, just do better. So this is me doing better and sharing these thoughts with you guys. I will make sure to list and link any of the products that you guys see in this video in the description box. If there is anything by sheer chance, miracle, or something, distraction, age, whatever, that I forget to list, link, or mention, please leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll make sure to get to it. Um, but if you wanna see how I did all of this on my face, then all you gotta do is keep on watching. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. It's been a hot minute since we've been in this, in this nook. It hasn't been a hot minute since I've done my makeup, but it has been a minute since you and I hung out with each other. So I was actually getting ready for mass right now. And I asked Parker, I was like, Hey, I'm going to go to the 115, which is in Spanish. I love going to mass in Spanish. Or if you're done with your errands, cause he's going to be out of town. I can wait for you and we can go to the 4:30. So I got me a few hours. He said to wait. So I thought I would Play with you guys. You keep me company. It's been a minute since I've done a makeup video, and I don't know what has happened, but I I feel reinvigorated. Like I believe in the power of makeup again. It's just one of those times where you know uh, life isn't linear. It has its ups and downs. It's like a um, it's like a what is that? Oh God, why are you looking at why are you looking at my mess? Some things don't don't change. You know what I mean? Like some things just will stay the same. This is one of those, like my amazing repair job on my mirror. What was I telling you? Yeah, I just feel a bit reinvigorated again. I realized I kind of found like my little, my little system on how I can make this quick and efficient and feel cute and kind of take a base look and then just kind of play with it. Not to mention that Sephora recently had their savings event, fall savings event, spring savings event, one of their two sales that they have because they're greedy and they don't give us discounts ever like Ulta. And so they recently had their sale and uh, I almost hit record and all of this stuff was behind me. And it, it was weird because I looked like a Sephora bag. So I thought, hey guys, let's get ready together. Let me, let me do something about my chair and then let me do something about you guys being so far away. Hold please. Okay, there we go. It's been a minute. Obviously, I, I don't remember how to do many of these things. But like all of my get ready with me's, this is not a, ooh, holy mackerel, my face is looking weird. This is not a tutorial video. I'm not gonna show you how to do anything. I just wanna chat and hang out with you guys. So if you do have any questions about what I do or why I did it, then drop me a comment down below. Subscribe, whatever you gotta do to get my attention and uh, I'll make sure to respond to your comment. So we are actually just getting ready and I want to use a lot of my new stuff that is not like first impression new to me, but it's newish and I'm in love with it. So in true neurodivergent fashion, I wanna use the death out of it until I get bored because that's what we do. Oh, you like this sweatshirt because it feels soft? Get it in every color. Wear it every day until you're sick of it and then you're over it. It's how it's just, it's how our brains work. So I actually, hello princess. I applied the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. And then I'm just gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Blur Stick 
and that I always concentrate just right here. I feel as I've gotten older, I've lost a lot of collagen or like bounce to my face. Thankfully not brightness or you know other stuff. It could be worse, so I'm not complaining, which is actually the theme of what I wanna talk about today. So I've lost a lot of bounce to my skin and it seems like it makes my pores look bigger, almost like saggy or deeper or I don't know what it is. I like to go in with a blur stick just where my pores like to betray my love and uh, act like they're the boss of themselves. And so I just do a little blur, blur, blur. And that's it. So that's what I do for primers. And this is not all the time. I mean, this is, this is full face makeup Danny 2.0. Do y'all remember in the past, it was like full on theater makeup, like the contour and the this and the setting and the lashes and the whatever. Okay, no. Think about that same concept, but 2.0. Like this is my full face. Now, in my almost 40 years of age, trying to simplify things and just finding products that just really love me back, not me trying to convince them to love me, you know? <laughs> that concept is relatable on all fronts. So then we're gonna go in with the Kosas. This is one of the products that I got during the Sephora Savings event. It's the Kosas Revealer, I think it's called. Kosas Revealer Super Creamy Brightening Concealer. I love the brand Kosas, and I wish there was a brand like Kosas, but that was uh, drugstore priced or like at Ulta, because even if it wasn't drugstore priced, but I could find it at Ulta, then it would be nice because then at least I would get, you know, points and the points that I could turn into money, and then I could spend that fake money on more expensive makeup. You know what I'm saying? When I got the foundation, this is actually not a product from my haul. I don't know why I keep pointing, like my haul is behind me. This is not a product from my fall savings event. I actually got this during the summer and I never used it. Do you guys do that? You buy stuff and then you just squirrel it away. That happened to me with this. It's like the matching foundation. So I got it in the summer when I was a nicer person and had a tan and it is awesome. Like I barely set her and she is perfection. It is the Revealer Skin Improving Foundation with SPF 25, medium coverage, natural dreamy finish. I don't know if it's dreamy, but I like the finish. And I got it in the shit, I don't know what I was thinking. Medium tan, neutral, 280. Right now I'm probably like an 80. <laughs> so what I've been doing, because I am resourceful and uh, don't want to exchange it is I will take the foundation and then a few swipes of the concealer. I always get the concealer about half a shade lighter than my skin tone, half a shade to a shade, never more than that because I don't like that look. Like it's, it's not a look for me. The, like the white triangle look it is not, is not my favorite. I like how it looks on other people, and I also especially love when they're like in photography or have their picture taken a lot. It makes sense, you know, but I cook chicken and take care of my dogs. That is my personal business, and that is what I take care of, and I don't need the, you know, the extreme brightness under my eyes. So anyway, I got this in the summer, put it away, forgot about it, and then when I got the concealer, I was like, wait a minute. This packaging looks familiar to me. What is it? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Viendo la tempestad y no me inco. Have you guys heard that saying before? <laughs> so we're in the midst of like a massive, incredible, scary. I'm not trying, I'm not, I'm not trying to, what is that called when you're fear monger? I'm not trying to fear monger. Let me disclose, disclaim, disclaimer, let me point out. I'm not trying to fear monger. I'm just trying to uh, have hard conversations with you guys, which I wish I had learned in my young age. And that's like sex, money, relationships, communication, you know, finance, stuff like that. Like I wish those were conversations that we had in our young age that we were equipped with in school, not the Dewey Decimal System. So anyway, we're, I'm not trying to fear monger, but we're in the midst of a really, 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 really pivotal time in history, huge recession, inflation prices. I mean, my job, I'm surprised I'm still doing this. You know, I'm surprised it's just still affording me opportunities to put bread in my kids' hands. And let me tell you, it is so stressful to, to have to face that and to, to know it's coming. I guess it's, 
I don't know. It's like one of those things you can, can you really prepare for? You know it's coming, but can you really prepare for it? What's it going to look like? How is it going to affect my family? Like, are we going to be able to pull through? Like, what's... It's scary, you know? The saying, viendo la tempestad y no te incas, is a saying in Spanish that basically means like, okay, you see like this natural disaster that's happening around you, and why are you not kneeling? Like, why aren't you praying? You know, like, you're seeing what's going on. You know this problem is, is happening or looming. Why aren't you kneeling and praying at this moment is what the saying means. So anyway, I'm not really in a position where I should be talking about a Sephora haul. I'm not really in a position where I should be uh, buying makeup in August and then barely using it in November. But alas, here we are. I am human and I am flawed and I'm working through it. And it's just one of those things that I think when fear presents itself and you are required to respond, you know, fight, flight, fawn, or what's the other one? Uh, fight, fawn, freeze, freeze, fight, fawn, or faint. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, it's when presented with stress or conflict, like how do you respond? I don't, I don't respond very well. <laughs> and it's so much easier to revert to your old ways, am I right? And my old ways are finding comfort in things like warm blankets, shoes, or makeup. And kind of, I guess unintentionally, it reminded me of how special makeup has been for me, to me, during tough, like tough, tough times, like this tempestad. So it's nice to have a reminder, you know, of of the power of makeup, whether it's how it makes me feel or how it helps me get through things. So the theme that I wanted to talk about in this video in particular, because you know, makeup's cool and all, but let's talk about feelings. So I don't remember where I heard this or how this was inspired or you know, who planted the seed. I know I was watching something, maybe I was watching a story. There are very few stories on my Instagram that I will seek out. April Athena's is one of them. Essie Castañeda, Sonia's story is another one, and currently, or Courtney Kerr. Those are three stories that just off the top of my head, I will, I won't just go to the top of my Instagram, I'll seek out their accounts and watch their stories. And it just, they, they feel like friend accounts, you know, like I'm checking in on a friend, I'm seeing what they're up to, I'm seeing, you know, what they hauled at Walmart or Target, or if they've decorated for Christmas yet. Um, and so they are my parasocial friends, kind of like we are, you know, you guys will wait for the vlog and see what we're up to and you know the boys names and you know, you know, our dogs and we just have this parasocial relationship. And it's beautiful, but it's not one of those things that just stops there, you know, it doesn't end there. To me, a lot of this parasocial aspect has actually translated into real life friendships, which I appreciate. So I see the value in connecting with people, even if it's just digitally. So anyway, I was watching one of my go-to stories. It was probably Sonia's and she mentioned or whoever d mentioned was, you know, how is it, why is it that we are so good at complaining? And I was like, where are you going with this? And this was months ago. Like I've had this thought in my brain for a while now. And instinctually my response, my internal dialogue, like my conversation with myself, my inner voice was like, well, we're not complaining. We're, you know, talking about life. But, you know, she kept going and talking about it and said, it's a habit. It's really a habit when you instinctually or your first move is to complain. And so I thought about it and I share things to be relatable. And I actually learned this a while ago when I, when I got my diagnosis of, you know, ADHD in my 38 years of age and connecting all the dots in life and in the struggles that I've had, you know, with myself, with my relationships, with my friendships, with my career choices, everything, just kind of connecting the dots. And obviously my organic 
instinctual answer was, well, I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to relate. I'm trying to, to relate and I'm trying to be relatable. So I'm not really complaining. But if you were to take an objective look and I'll totally put myself in the crosshairs, like I volunteers tribute to use myself as an example of how I make a mistake all the time. I don't have an ego. If I f up, I'm going to say I did and I'm not going to justify why I did it. I will try to explain it if the other person is like completely bewildered, but I'm also, I don't know. I guess you don't get to decide whether or not you upset someone. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's not our, that's not our, uh, once, once we hurt someone's feelings, we don't get to justify whether or not it was okay or not. Cause they're like, Hey, my feelings are hurt. Okay. It doesn't matter what it was. You hurt their feelings. Say sorry. You don't have to to feel like you're surrendering to them being right and you being wrong. So you're not acknowledging that you were wrong. You're acknowledging that you made them feel bad. It's, it's separate. And if you're still passionate about what happened, then in the future, after you repair the damage, then you can talk about it, you know? But obviously if you love someone, you wanna, you wanna um, hold their feelings for a bit first. Anyway, where I'm going with this, I do that a lot. I will complain a lot and I do it to, again, be inspiring and be relatable and to, but I'm like, okay, well then why don't I, why don't I do the opposite? So I'm using myself as an example, <laughs> back to my point. Yesterday I did a post on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, you guys, I totally vlogged last weekend, but I have forgotten to edit my footage because I got sick. And then after I got sick, my boys got sick. And then after we were, all three of us were home sick, we lost all our natural gas. There was like this huge outage. I don't know what happened. And that's another story for another day, but we weren't informed what happened, but it was, 3,500 houses and businesses all were without natural gas for two days. And we weren't told what happened, but we had no hot water, we had no heater, and we couldn't use the stove. So it was a little frustrating. I mean, luckily I still had like my little electric burner and my little countertop oven and stuff like that. So again, why my focus was, I'm sorry I didn't do the footage, I edit the footage for the vlog, you know, we all got sick and we didn't have gas and this and that. But again, I was trying to share. I was trying to have an update. I was trying to be relatable, to share an experience and open up the door for the conversation of, you know, I know it's hard and if you're having a hard week like we did, uh, just remember that you've gotten through your hardest days. Like, so just like we got through our hardest days that we thought we never would get over, like, I don't know, a divorce or my miscarriage years ago or whatever. Just how we thought these were days that we're gonna end of days. Like they were the end of days. We would never get over this. Uh, we did, we actually did get over it. And this is just another one of those moments. So I was trying to be relatable and inspiring, but if you really just break it down, you're complaining. It's the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil in taupe. It's probably everyone's universal shade. It's the best color for brunettes, whether you are a cool or a warm brunette. It would be a great color for blondes as well, especially those blondes that like to do the sexy dark brows. I think it would be a great color for people with black hair because if you have black hair, you wanna do a lighter brow to kind of soften your features, right? So anyway, taupe is probably everyone's go-to shade when it comes to the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. I think it's three bucks. You're not gonna regret it, trust me. Even the spoolie it comes with is genius. And then I'm just going in with a clear brow gel. I'm not super picky with a clear brow gel as long as it's not crunchy. I'm not a fan of the crunch. This one is not crunchy, it's a Tartiste, and I think it's only available, I'm not sure if it's Sephora or Ulta, but it's exclusive. So like one has it, the other one doesn't. So what I was getting at is, instead of it being a post where I'm like complain, 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 but don't worry, we're survivors, why couldn't it have been a post of, oh my God, you guys, I just posted, you know, two back-to-back -back vlogs, and I, 
I need I have some footage that I need to edit you know I'm I'm trying my best here and I I'm so proud of myself that I came back to vlogging and I'm so encouraged by your guys's support and your comments so give me a chance and I'll post this vlog by you know Monday or whatever I ended up saying and so it's a comfort zone you know resorting to complaining is a comfort zone like most things like your go-to socks or your go-to jeans or your go-to restaurant and ordering the same meal and so it was just one of those things where I realized I am so good at complaining and I need to get better and here's what I mean by that I don't mean I want to stop complaining because I think there's a beauty in acknowledging your yucky feelings. I think there is a beauty in, you know, finding cathartic release in it, especially if you have friends that can listen to you or support you or be your sounding board. So it can be very cathartic. Hey, you know what? A, B, C, and D is going on and I'm just so frustrated. And then you have a supportive relationship whether it's your romantic partner or your friend or you know your favorite Starbucks barista <laughs> and then that sounding board lets you scratch the itch and you're over it so I, I'm not saying don't ever complain what I'm saying is it shouldn't really be so easy or it should be just as easy to talk about our blessings. So, you know, like go on Instagram or go on your Insta story or go on your Snapchat or Ticker Talker or whatever you're doing and say, oh my gosh, I woke up feeling so thankful today. It's such a beautiful day. I was finally able to shake this cold and my baby got an award. You're gonna get crap for it no matter what. You're gonna get crap for being a complainer. You're gonna get crap for being a bragger. You're gonna get crap for whatever. But it's this pattern that I would like to work on. It's this pattern that I would like to not necessarily break, but maybe modify. Instead of my go-to being this complainy, cathartic release, maybe finding great balance in not only talking about our stressors, <laughs> not only talking about, oh, what's happening? What's going on? Sorry about that romantical interruption. Uh, Parker just got here. Anyway, so it's finding this beautiful balance. I guess like in most things in life, you know, we are so geared towards doing A, B, C, and D, but if you take a moment to hit pause, kind of be introspective and look inside yourself and say, okay, what do I do often? What do I wanna do differently? Or how can I keep doing this but balance it out with something else. And so I really wish I could remember what that was that I heard or that I saw, whose story it was, because it really stuck with me. And I'm telling you, this was months ago. I've been wanting to talk about it for months because I'm like, it's something so true and so common, but I don't think it's something that we really think about much you know, looking at our behavior and, and how we function and how we operate and the things that we do share, how we think, how we are with ourselves. And, and so, like I said, yeah, of course, I could totally justify why I do it. I'm trying to be relatable. I, I wanna be relatable to you as I want you to be relatable to me, but ultimately it doesn't stop being what it is, you know? So I was like, I need to do better at that. And I'm not a big fan of New Year's resolutions because I think it's a great way of shaving yourself into doing something and then not following through and then feeling guilty and then you create another unhealthy toxic cycle. But it might be something worth looking into into the new year of just kind of reframing the way we think or the way we express ourselves. Sure, complain. Sure, let it out. Sure, you know, talk about it, rant and rave, but also take that much time, effort, and balance and energy into ranting and raving about how awesome the good stuff is and how blessed you feel and how well your life is going. And I can guarantee you this, the people that think that you are being smug or egotistical or selfish or self-centered or that see it like you're bragging, those aren't your people. And the people that root for you and support you and celebrate with you, 
those are your people. It's something that I want to do more. You know, I don't want to stop complaining. I'm never going to stop complaining. That's just not who I am. And uh, it's just the kind of person I am. I want to complain about something and I want my husband to be right there with me and like ranting and raving like, oh my God, that's true. She is such a whatever, you know, and then I'm over it. However, when it comes down to sharing, let's, let's, let's bring out more balance. You know, that's, I think that's what I'm, I'm focusing on is balance. You know what else I'm focusing on? Not marrying this eyeshadow palette. <sighs> I got this during the Sephora savings sale event. It's all I want on my face. It's all that I've put on my face. It's all that I have thoroughly enjoyed for the last few weeks and it is amazing. I am in like Movi Berry heaven. It is awesome. I cannot stress it enough. I have a few, you know, there's a few things in here that make me feel some kind of way because I am an old dinosaur and I don't like change. Like there's some gel liners that are in here and that kind of makes, makes me feel weird. But when you start mixing things together and you get brave, oh my goodness, I know what you're doing. I don't remember how close you guys were to me, so. Let's just pretend the zoom matches. Okay, so I didn't tell you guys what colors I used, but I went in with Rebel as like the transition shade or like the blown out peachy color that you see at the top. And then on my crease is Big Dreams. It's like this cool toned movie shade. And then on the lid, I'm just gonna go straight in with Courageous this little metallic number right here. And I'm gonna use my finger because I haven't done the rest of my face and I don't want stuff kind of just falling down and you know ruining my day and then I have to complain about it, you know? <laughs> I don't wanna lose my progress that I've had for 12 minutes. So I just kind of pop this on my lid and it's a very beautiful, it's like a black base with a hot pink glitter, I would say. So it kind of mixes together and it just looks like a little sparkly purple number. So cute, so pretty, love it, it's my favorite. If you guys have seen anything that I've posted on Instagram, this is the only eyeshadow palette that I have been using and no regrets. It's really cool, I forgot about the excitement or the novelty of getting a new palette and then only using that palette to see how much juice you can get from it. And so, so far, I mean, all of the looks seem to have the same kind of tones, like that berry, mauve vibe, which I like, but they do look different. So it has significant variety where I say, yeah, this is an amazing palette that y'all need to get. So anyway, I'm just kind of bumping that onto my lid with my middle finger. And I push and then just kind of drag a little bit with very little movement. So push and then kind of just drag a little bit. So whatever's on your middle finger sticks onto your lid. And I stopped using eyeshadow primer years ago. I thought it was a very unnecessary step. Unnecessary? Unnecessary. In unnecessary step. I just uh, bring my concealer up and then set with the same powder that I put on my face and that's it. Like that's all I do. And usually it seems to work. I also don't have the need to have eyeshadow on my face for more than like four, maybe six hours. So that's what we're gonna do with our eyeballs. And then I will take, I think I'm just gonna go in with this fluffy brush. I just cleaned my brushes the other day so I'm being very conservative with their use. Now I'm gonna go in with that same uh, cool tone mauve shade that I used on my crease for my lower lash line. And that's just to kind of make it all blendy. So it doesn't look like, oh my God, my eyelids, like the top lids are super purple and then down here it's like mm, concealer, you know? Just to make it cohesive and blendy and smooth. Just like that. Try to poke your eye as little as possible. I did not do a very good job at that. All right, I'm not gonna do mascara now because I wanna jump into, <sighs> you guys. I just have one complaint about this blush and it's a really stupid complaint and it's only because I'm looking for something to complain about. Do you see what I did there? 
So this is the Rare Beauty, the Selena Gomez makeup brand. Uh, cream blush, what is it called? Melting, melting? Sorry guys. It's the Melting Blush in Nearly Neutral. And I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender that is damp, but I squeezed out all the liquid. And then I'm just gonna do a little zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh in here. Are you ready? Maybe, let me see if I can show you how pretty this is. I think your hands are your best friend and if you know how to apply your makeup with your hands, that is awesome. And I think in dire straits, in case of an emergency, I would also use my hands. But I also have tools and so I try to make it an effort to use my tools and to also clean them as often as I can. So I don't use a beauty blender more than once. I wash it. So I have plenty so that I don't have to wash them every time. You know what I mean? So I think if you are a beauty blender fan, if you had two or three in rotation where you use one, one day and then the other, and then every three days you wash your beauty blender, that's easy. You know, that's totally something that you can find time for. But I would definitely not recommend using dirty tools because you find yourself struggling with like dirty skin or pores or breakouts or things like that. And right now, you know, going into the holidays where everyone's gonna be taking pictures and everyone's gonna be all up on that Facebook lying about their perfect life. Wait, did I just say that out loud? <laughs> then uh, you wanna make sure your skin looks good. And that means using clean beauty tools. Your fingers, however, if you don't wanna go through the trouble of washing tools, your fingers will work as long as you wash your hands. You know what I mean? So that might actually work. But this blush, it's amazing. You know what else is amazing? The highlighter that I'm gonna go in with, and this is no surprise, I use it in every single video where I do like a more glowy, natural, cream blush, cream everything look. It's just amazing. And it's awesome because it's blendy, it's not creamy, sticky. If you wanna hear about a sticky highlighter that I was like, why did I even buy you? You gotta watch my uh, Sephora haul from the uh, fall savings event because listen, you can be an all natural green beauty brand and you're all about those oils and it's all natural and vegan and healthy for your skin and hydrating and anti-aging and all that beautiful stuff that most non-toxic green beauty brands talk about, like that's their shtick, right? Like that's what they what they do, that's what they're good at, that's, that's what they promote. You don't gotta be sticky. Like, you don't, you, re you really don't. Like we can, we can do better, you know? We can do better and we can make our products be cream products that aren't sticky. I mean, Selena Gomez figured it out. You know, we can figure that, that they figured it out. You can make awesome cream products that aren't sticky. I can't do sticky. And then your hair is like, it's like voluntarily, like it's like lip gloss that gets, you know, your hair gets in your lip gloss, but it's like voluntarily putting lip gloss on your cheeks too. Like that's a lot. I could do sticky in one place, not in, not in multiple. You know what else is not sticky and amazing? This little number right here. This is the House Labs, the Lady Gaga makeup brand. I know, it's just this innocent, inconspicuous looking bottle of lip gloss. No, it's lip oil. And it comes in like five or six different shades. I just got tint, which is like the very pink. It looks like this. And it is, oh, it's so good. I wish it was an Ulta, like I said that before. Like, come on, Lady Gaga. Go to Ulta, let me earn points because this stuff, holy cow. My lips have a natural tint to them already. They're already super pink. And so I have to be really careful with products that are already this color because it like amplifies it. I feel like this doesn't. It does it enough where it looks like I may be wearing lip gloss, not just a tinted lip oil, but it still looks very healthy, plump, natural. And look, it's not sticky. You see that? Do you guys? Okay, imagine putting on MAC lip glass, any color, and then doing this. What happens? Your lips are like, mm, 
<laughs> anyway, I'm gonna jump off camera, do my lashes, and I'll be back to say goodbye and talk to you about the products. Boom! What a difference a little mascara makes. If you guys are wondering, I'm using the Warrior Lash, Lash Princess, some kind of warrior girly name. It's the Lash Warrior from Flower Beauty. This is what I'm wearing on my lashes today. That and obviously eyelash serum, which is the only reason that I have these eyelashes. Anyway, that is it for this Get Ready With Me. If you guys take anything from this video, besides hitting that subscribe button, is um, let's balance. Let's create some balance. You know, I, I'm gonna be the first, I'm gonna be the first friend that you can call and complain about, I don't know, you know, your husband not validating your feelings or loading the dishwasher wrong, or heck, you wanna complain about your kids because they're sick again. Go ahead. I'm gonna be the first person that's like, yes, let it off your chest, honey. However, let's uh, let's find some beautiful balance in our blessings and all of the ways that we are fortunate as well. You know, if you want to, you know, tell me that your husband's amazing and loves you despite you being a dick, then, you know, rave about that as well. If you want to tell me your kid, you know, improved his grades finally, or he got a diagnosis, or he's flourishing, or he's doing well, or guess what? My bumpy's still alive. He's pushing through even though he is completely geriatric and I've been told he's sundowning, but he is holding on. Then then let's talk about that as well. Let's create some balance in the way that we express ourselves because always complaining and always focusing on the negative, albeit it is cathartic, but it becomes a bad habit. Like biting your nails or buying a sweatshirt in every color. That is not a bad habit. I refuse to accept it. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, if you learned something, if you found it entertaining, heck, if you laughed at me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up or a comment. Do something. Interact with me in some way. I need friends. And uh, make sure to check the description box below if there's any products that I mentioned that you were like, oh my god, I need to get this. You do. I'm sorry, but you do. If you need it, you you do. Danny, do I? Yes. Should I? Uh-huh. Why are we still talking about it? So all of that stuff will be lit. No, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'll stop after I show you this. Like this one too. Anyway, all of the stuff that I used, that I showed, that I whatever was wearing, even. Oh, look at this. Sorry, guys. I didn't take my medicine today. Look at these. Look at these. Don't look at my underwear. Oh my goodness, aren't these cute? Hold on, let me make it easier. There we go. What? Look at these beauties. I know, very clueless. Circa like 90s, early 2000s, right? All that stuff will be listed and linked in the description box of this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, for interacting, for listening to my spiels. Y'all that are still here, I mean, this is, this is the longest relationship I've ever had. And I've been married twice. So anyway, I love you guys so much and you know what to do if you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys!